porn photographers, what is the most awkward moment you had? What do you feel when you film? How is your job generally? Not photographer here, but cinematographer. When I was at the beginning of my career I accepted a proposal to work on a hard movie. After the second day of filming the director approached me and told me, it's clear you are a good cinematographer, I love how you manage the skin tones and mood. Just one thing, in this industry it's not only the face that we want lit correctly. I was in double A when I was 19 and I learned that my then sponsor directed porn. Being an ambitious young man I inquired about any job openings as an actor. He just shook his head and said, you don't actually want to do porn. It smells bad. Can someone link the video of the camera operator eating a donut while filming a scene? That was what first came to my mind. There was an AMA on this a while back, you may be able to find something there. I believe the cameraman was doing VR porn at the time or something related to that. I'm a photographer who has on a few occasions taken photos of porn, usually for friends who have OnlyFans, but my story is from before I did so. A model reached out for me for a shoot, we chatted normally and talked out some minor details. Nothing explicit, just a bit of topless stuff. Mind you, I didn't know her at all, she was a random person who reached out on Instagram. She texts me and tells me that we are going to FaceTime. At 12 AM, I insist that we can talk tomorrow and that I'm already in bed and she persists that's it's fine. I hate FaceTiming, especially with people I don't know, especially at midnight when I'm already cozy in bed. She calls me and is in the middle of taking a piss completely nude and drunk off her ask. I was taken aback and told her we can just talk tomorrow. She gets upset and says that we need to talk now so she can show me her body and her tattoos. She says this as she's wiping up. I was super skeeved out and hung up. Needless to say, I did not feel comfortable doing a photo shoot with her and I ghosted. I don't shoot porn or even erotic but I am a photographer who shoots a lot of art nudes and my models range from first-time models who only shoot fully clothed to people who shoot porn. Before every shoot I give the model a safety talk, in which I say that I won't touch them, that I'll show them every shot I take, and tell them that if anything is making them uncomfortable I want them to speak up. I once had a model interrupt that talk to say, my job is mainly shooting bondage and fetish porn. There is nothing that you are going to say or do that will make me uncomfortable. That felt awkward to me. I thought about it for a second and told her that I did not care what she did at other times, I was going to treat her like I treated every other model, and then I went on with my model safety talk. I have to admit that I am always a bit nervous working with a model who is new to me. Her saying that actually made me relax a bit during the shoot. I was the model for an act outdoor shoot and was posing on a pretty big boulder. Felt a tickling on my ass, looking there and there was this lizard just chilling on my butt. Was so surprised I almost jumped off the rock. The photographer was very amused. I also learned that rock climbing naked is a lot of fun. I had to shoot the ugliest couple I have ever seen. Woman looked like a six feet ogre and man looked like a tiny Harry Potter with a soul patch. They had zero chemistry and she kept looking at his junk and trying to make this sultry face but it looked like she was confused and disgusted by it. They also insisted on shooting in the hot tub but she was the exact same color as the stucco behind it. Not a photographer but I worked for an adult company and have been on multiple gay and hetero video sets. There is more poop and blood on a porn set than you think. Also a fair amount of vomit. I was once on set for a scene that involved faking accidental sex. So. Much. Poop. Then after the performer used the bathroom for an hour of douching, the scene continued. Every few minutes a cameraman or sound guy would wipe blood from the dude's pendies. They weren't willing to halt filming because they had a tight schedule and the empty mansion they were filming in had a real estate appointment meeting in it that night. Dude I went to university went had a job working as cameraman for some sleazy Euro porn guy in the 90s. This was long before porn was easily available on the internet. This guy had multiple times he was hit with cum by accident. Real photographer here. I was in the biz back in the days right when we were starting to move from 35mm to digital, so it's been a while. 
Obviously many stories. Most awkward would probably be this one female model who was in the barely 18 category. She brought her dad to the shoot and he insisted on being there during the entire thing. He was critiquing her, giving her posing tips, etc. Imagine having your dad on set giving you pointers and using a dildo, spreading those lips a little more, etc. Worked on a set as security and observed that basically asterisk asterisk time is money. Asterisk asterisk they want to get specific things on film and at this time photographed. That tension if things are not going smoothly or perfectly is not attractive. Production staff are simply trying to achieve all the goals and ensure they check everything off their list and one, inability, to deliver causes them a lot of stress. My uncle's best mate used to have his own photography business, he stopped about 8 years ago, he always mentioned a story where a woman approached him and asked him to take photos of her so she could give the album to her husband for his birthday. Fully naked pictures of her using sex toys and so on. Anyway, she'd apparently been using a dildo on her ask and she was around 2 hours into the shoot. She finished with the dildo and was spreading her cheeks when a little nugget of poo came sliding out, which just so happened to be caught on camera with her showing a face of absolute horror. She got changed and left and paid for the pictures several weeks later, expect the one of the great escape. I never did see those pictures so can't say for certain. I've met quite a lot of people in the industry in Japan, but one guy, a still photographer, really sticks out. Super creepy dude from Northern Europe, got his kicks showing random people at the bar I was working at his, work. It was a bit funny with regulars, but you could tell it made a lot of people uncomfortable after a while. His shit was niche as hell though, so most people probably didn't know what they were shown given a quick glance. As far as hearing how he liked the work, it seems like a lot of his work was so niche it didn't really hit him in a sexual way, but judging from his actions and way of speaking around others I'm sure there was more to him than I could see at the time. Add a serious tag cuz I want actual answers. Well, there's that one video of the cameraman that got hit with some of the money shot in the face by complete accident. Here is a more light-hearted awkward story for you all. Probably three to four months after moving into a new studio space a detective showed up at the door. Turns out some of our neighbors had gotten concerned seeing young women coming in and out of the building all the time and thought something illegal was going on. That in and of itself isn't that rare. Of course being on the up and up we had copies of all our models release forms, photo ids, etc. So we quickly pulled those files and provided them to him. All is well. Until he comes back with a list of specific models he needed to get copies of all their photos and videos of. Yes of course only the younger models, less than 25. Never had that requested before and I had a very strong suspicion it had nothing to do with investigating our legality and a whole lot to do with a horny cop. I was filming a scene with two girls ducking. It's not uncommon at all to kneel, sit, lay on the bed to get better shots. One girl ended up squirting more than I've seen in my 30 years as a lesbian and it went all over me. Not only that but I had to stay laying in the puddle for a few minutes before I could switch angles. I took a job during college that required me to film fisting at a hotel. The smell was the most putrid, horrible smell you can imagine. I only did it twice, because the last time I was hired, about midway through the shoot, apparently there was not enough lube applied to the receiver's jelly donut. The sheer force of the fist, which actually looks more like punching a wet paper bag than some delicate procedure, caused a rip in this guy's ask hole and we had to rush him to the hospital in my car. There was all kinds of fluid leaking onto my back seat, some of it looked clear and some it was blood. Never again, not even for what they were paying me. I worked as a photographer on porn sets shortly back in 2011. It's like any other job. Nothing awkward happened during my year. Most sets have 5 to 12 people, it's fairly professional. I try to do the best to take the best angles of the girls. Work was steady, but I made roughly 30,000. Which was considered low back in 2011. I ended up freelancing and starting my own business, a lot of the girls who are traveling strippers supported me early on actual pornographer here. I work for an independent studio in Los Angeles called Perf City and I shoot pro-am scenes of my husband for our site not a good girl inspection.
Most awkward on a professional set was when we were shooting a normal MILF boy girl scene, no sex, and the male talent fingered the MILF so hard that she shit all over the couch. I love my job. I love creating porn. I really enjoy working with most of the people in the porn industry. I just wish we would do a better job to get rid of the predators. AMA.